The police have turned up. That looks very good. Where should I go this way? <laughs> I'm on top of a bus. I'm running for mayor as well. Seriously? Alex. Alex. Well, I'm, buddy, I'm looking forward to uh, our battle. Hello again. It's me, Max Vosch, everyone's favourite mayoral candidate. If you're not aware of who I am or what I stand for, here's a brief summary. I'm a YouTuber and I'm running to become London Mayor in order to get more votes than ex-singer-songwriter Lawrence Fox. You stole a march on your indecision. The bookies have put me at odds of 500 to 1. Quite good odds, if I'm honest. Look at Leicester City in the 2015-16 season. At the end of last week, I handed in all my official documents to make me a candidate, and it was time to hit the campaign trail. And as I was leaving my appointment, I got something that fell into my lap. An un unnamed source just sent me a press release for Lawrence Fox is releasing his big battle bus. So he's got this bus with his name face plastered all over it. Um, I think it's time to wrap my car. I had 24 hours to react and I had an idea. An idea that needed someone who I knew that I could trust to execute it, and quickly. And that man was Paul, who runs Signs Etc, who helped me out with the, uh, with the Radio 1 video. And they said, come in this afternoon and they will sort out the car. Paul was absolutely saving my bacon here. Hello mate. Yeah. Do you get sick when you see my number on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> And in the flashiest of flashes. Ready in the flashiest of flashes. Admire the handiwork, Paul. Right, thank you very much. This car of mine is more than a car. Vinny is an absolute stallion for the Max Vosch channel, being called upon time and time again. Once more, it was part of a plan. Speaking of the plan, um, th there was no plan. Off we go. Other than to drive to the location stated on the press release at the specified time, and then be sneaky. Well, cameraman Craig was going to be sneaky. Let's go. So just message me with any information about when he's there, if the bus is there, how many people are there, and you are, what, what, are you, what are you covering? What are you, why are you there? Champion Yeah, but for, for who? Max Bosch. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Student newspaper. Yes. Do you know anything what's going, about, what's going on here today for Lawrence Fox? Yeah, I'm filming something there. Okay. Why, what, what do you know? I'm just here. I don't actually know that much. To be honest with, you. with the information from the most helpful cameraman in the world, I instructed Craig to hang around with all the other journalists whilst I stayed with the car round the corner. I would then wait till Lawrence turned up on his big red bus before popping round and saying hello. <laughs> and we knew it was going to be good because they were giving out T-shirts. Got Craig in position, and it's just a waiting game. The police have turned up. Apparently, might get shut down before it's even started. The crowd was gathering in their tens, and they were all waiting for big boy Loza to turn up on his red bus. The atmosphere? Electric. What's, the, what's the odds that he rocks up on his bus? Like, front and centre, it'll be like Jack and Titanic. I'm on top of a bus. He can't do that, surely. Uh... Sure. Lawrence was in attendance and doing his big speech, which for a film actor he disappointingly hadn't memorised off by heart. I wasn't there, but I'm not sure the speech was as motivating as he may have liked. Craig gave me the green light and it was time for his main rival to turn up to the party. Um, there we go. There we go. Oh, I mean. But quickly, let me stop you right there. If you're over 18, remember to register to vote in these London elections. Whether it's for the cause of Max Fosh to mash Fox, or for another party, exercise your democratic right. And also, don't you dare subscribe. Don't do it. Thank you. Someone who isn't subscribing to the channel is Lawrence's head of security. He wasn't best pleased to see me. Oh, it's a bit like a can mouse in it. Oh, we're gonna go this side, that side. Oh no, what is it? Should I whack in reverse, maybe? Should I go this way? <laughs> Should I go this way? Oh, we're gonna just sneak in here. Just, just parking, sorry. Excuse me, sir, I, I am trying to park. Sorry. 
With my arrival, I could really get stuck into listening to Lawrence's rousing speech. I, I say listen, London had other plans. Which in double talk, I will talk about you. I will return your freedom to I also seem to have picked up a new friend who was absolutely obsessed with me and was tailing me at every opportunity. I will remember you. Lawrence's big speech was coming to an end and as he was walking off it was my opportunity to pass on my congratulations. Lawrence! Lawrence! Well done, buddy. I'm looking forward to uh, our battle on the 6th of May. Remember the 6th? The election's actually on May the 5th, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Remember the 6th? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I love it. Gus Harovian's battling out each other. Yeah. Mr. Smith would be very happy, very yeah. proud. I like it. I like it. Where are you going, where are you going now? You could do some campaigning as well. Yeah. Can I drive behind? Can I sit behind? Can I go on the bus? Oh, look. Don't believe everything you see on a bus. Yeah, it's a bit of satire. It's a little bit of. Believe even less what you see on the side of a car. Yeah. Ah, he's. He's. He's just sharp. Sharp as a tack, this guy. Okay, that's a lovely day. I got my time in Lawrence, but... Okay. Oh, there we go. Now, as we just saw there, Lawrence gave me permission to drive right behind his bus as it toured round London. Can I drive behind? Can I sit behind? But before that, let's chat to some of the people there. What are you doing here today? I, I'm a mayoral candidate. I'm running for mayor as well. Seriously? 100% seriously, seriously. As an independent candidate. Oh. That, that's got nothing to, that's just, uh, I had a really bad experience with the movie Cats, I saw the number 44 bus, oh, and yeah. um, honestly, right. it's got nothing to do with this, I just wanted to see Lawrence might have a competition. You know, you know the great thing? That man believes in free speech. So, as I said, speaking is so important. And with my speaking, I'll tell you all that it was time for us to go round London. It has to be said, I admire the optimism of Lawrence to drive around central London at 10.30am on a Tuesday when there was absolutely no one around. It just made the heads that were turned even more special. They were unique. Not everyone, however, was ecstatic to see Lawrence. Yeah, okay, all right. I know, he's, he's, he's on here, he's, he's in the bus, isn't he? Really? Oh, I'm getting overtaken by the bus! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one less vote for him. Hopefully that driver of the 159 bus has just changed his vote from Fox to Fosh, which is what you may be doing on the 6th of May. But of course, only once you've looked at all the policies from all the candidates. It's important that you make an informed decision when you vote, and also, just remember to register to vote. It's a very important part of our democratic process. A process that allows two posh boys with no experience in politics to run. See you next week.